It's safe to say that if you're a parent whose child has struggled with constipation, you have heard of Miralax. It's commonly prescribed, it's an over-the-counter medication, but we know that no parent, unless they really, really have to, wants to turn to medication. So in this video, we wanna talk about Miralax and some of the documented side effects that come with it, but more importantly, give you another option, a natural option that you can work with your baby, toddler, or child who's struggling with constipation. In fact, this was this mom, Laura, and so many moms that come into our practice. She said this, she said, I had no idea that this could make his behavior worse. My doctor definitely didn't tell me that. Now, this was about her son, Justin, who had struggled with constipation for really the last couple years, had just been diagnosed with ADHD too, and behavior went off the deep end when she started Miralax. Now, Laura came to us because they were getting at a point where medication wasn't working, Miralax wasn't working, and Justin was still constipated. And so thankfully, a friend had recommended that she find something other than the, other than the medication route and they found our office and wanted to get started with a more natural route. So today in this video, what I wanna talk about is Miralax, is really what it is, why it's prescribed, um, what are some of the things to look out for as parents, and then what are some natural solutions if you don't wanna go that route. Now, I'm gonna pull a couple articles in this too, but I wanna start with Miralax and really break it down into what is the main ingredient and how it's supposed to work and how the natural processes with digestion are supposed to work. Now the main ingredient in Miralax um, is polyethylene glycol 3550. Now I know, or actually 3350, sorry, I couldn't even say it right, couldn't even remember it, because it's such a long name, right? And we know as parents, when you look at those long names on ingredient labels, kind of gives us a warning label or a red flag. Now, this ingredient is designed to help the digestive tract hold in more water. Because what's supposed to happen is this lower digestive, in the lower digestive colon area, is designed to, to absorb water from the food that we eat to bring that back into the body. So this ingredient is designed to keep that water in there, then helping the body be sort of a diuretic to help that constipation improve. Now, while they look at this and, and there's some dosage recommendations on the package, there's no dosage recommendation for anyone under 17. And we'll talk about that because it's recommended you reach out to your provider. Now, on the origin and this ingredient, I highly recommend as a parent, you go do some more research because I really think you'll be surprised what you find. I'll share with you a little bit, but definitely do your own research on this. Now, the FDA did a study on Miralax back in 2014. And they tracked 167 kids and they actually found that in that study that many of the kids had severe emotional psychiatric side effects such as behavior struggling with anxiety along with the increased bloating gas cramping diarrhea all the things that miralax is supposed to help with in fact i want to pull up this article right here because i'll show you um, exactly where you can see this. So, so if you dig in, this is just an article right here. Actually, it came from CBS News back in 2017 off this 2014 study. And it talks about and has a lot of different reports of all the different things that the kids struggled with. Um, talks about a mom who can develop paranoia, mood swings, aggression, rage um, that went way worse simply because they went on Miralax. Now, as a parent, I totally understand. You look at this and you're like, oh my gosh, why didn't my doctor tell me this? Well, I want to talk about a couple different things. It it really makes sense, the, the scientific mechanism of putting water back in, right? That's going to help the diuretic and help the fluid move through more easily to affect that absorption. Here's the problem with that. While you get temporary relief from that, what that can do, it can alter the body's normal physiologic process of working with what's called the vagus nerve to stimulate healthy motility and just the natural digestive process. So not only does it cause the nervous system to struggle with a lot of the behavior stuff, it gets the nervous system off track on those naturally physiologic processes such as digestion. Now, if you dig in deeper to this, there's a lot of parent groups that have formed 
that'll really give you some support. So if you look at some of these groups, they talk a lot about the behavioral struggles with Miralax and give you a lot of different options with from parents, from clinicians, from people to talk to, to really dig in and find other options. But what I wanna talk about in this video is kind of the three different categories that parents try to help their kids um, on the other side of it to not use Miralax and then talk about what we do to work with those those three things. Because here's the thing, if you can find the, the, the root cause of it and a path to that, you can absolutely find action steps that will work, that have solutions without using medications. Now, if you are in this world where your child has struggled with constipation and had to use Miralax, we know you've probably tried everything nutritionally, right? You've looked into what can they eat, what are their food intolerances. Secondly, and you may not have looked at this, is what are some of the neurological interferences? What is the brain and the body talking to itself and saying, okay, why aren't I getting those movements? Why am I holding on to bowel movements too long? Why is the body just not moving through that? And really the third category is you've tried both. And that's what I wanna talk about now is trying both can really be the answer. So what happens when you get limited motility and limited signaling is the nervous system just doesn't know when to let go of its digestive process. Now this is what brings up the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is a parasympathetic, meaning it's a primary brake pedal for the nervous system. That brake pedal means it helps the body rest, sleep, digest, and truly relax. Now that nerve, that vagus nerve starts up here in the upper cervical neck and then it branches down all through digestion. So it's actually in control of all the neuro signaling that goes with motility and movement with digestion, but also it influences that absorption of fluids too, exactly what Miralax is designed to do to regulate that or more or less stop that um, to help that stay in there. The vagus nerve is meant to do that naturally. And so if you have a vagus nerve that is stuck up here and that signaling is off down here, that brain to body connection, that neurological connection isn't gonna be able to help. So if you've tried everything on the nutritional side, elimination diets, um, maybe up the fiber, up the prune juice, up to all these things, and you're still not getting answers, combining that with neurology in the nervous system is truly what will get you there. Now, if you've tried all these things nutritionally, that's where neurological comes in, and that's what we can help with from a pediatric chiropractic standpoint. That's exactly what Laura did with Justin. Justin started chiropractic care, and what was really, really cool is he went from being constipated and going number two probably about once every five to six days to actually started going regularly. After about a month under care, he was going every day and at a minimum every other day having these bowel movements. Then mom noticed that he was able to not have as many tantrums, not as many meltdowns, because, right, two things. One, he's not on Miralax. Secondly, when you're digesting and that vagus nerve is working, you're just gonna be more restful, relaxed, sleeping better. Your body is working with ease, and that's what they found with Justin, is when there was that stress that got stuck in there, it just didn't allow that whole parasympathetic system, vagus nerve included, to work. Now, I know that every single child is unique. And I know that as parents, we get in the moment where there's struggles and we have to do what we have to do for our kids. So if you've had to try Miralax in the past, absolutely no judgment, but we know that if you don't wanna continue that road, we wanna give you some other options. And that's why we measure this in our office, we measure that neurological interference, we'll work with you on the things that you've already done nutritionally to find the bottom and the root cause of the constipation in your child because every child deserves that medication-free option um, to just not have to deal with all the side effects or the what ifs with that for their body to really conquer it naturally. So if you have more questions, we would love for you to comment below. We would love for you to talk to us. Um, we would love to dig in to how this is working. And if you've had Miralax before, we'll talk you through it and we'll give you those other options. So hope this finds you well um, and hope this helps you get to the root cause of constipation and have a medication-free route.